What's up, my fellow weirdos? How are you today? It's season 15, and you know what that means. We got some new exotics. Well, some of them are new old exotics, if that makes any sense. And one of them I am really excited about covering, or it could just be the gallon of coffee I had this morning, which probably isn't healthy. Anyways, today, I want to talk about the no backup plans. These beautiful gauntlets came out in Destiny 1, but have made their return in Season of the Lost. They were by far one of my favorite and most used exotics, which is why I wanted to make a really short video covering them. You can get these as a random drop from any Legend or Master Lost sector, granted arms are on rotation that day. The exotic perk is Force Multiplier. When you have full melee energy, shotgun final blows activate your defensive strike and consume your melee. Shotgun final blows also give you energy back. Every shotgun kill gives you roughly 10% of your melee energy back for low level adds, but this is tied to what rank the enemy is as well. For yellow bars, it goes up to 25%. This may not seem like much, but don't forget what Defensive Strike does. It gives you a 75 HP overshield to you and any allies within 18 meters for 20 seconds. And anytime Defensive Strike is active, it also activates the skill tree perk Turn the Tide. This skill perk gives you plus 45 to reload and handling along with a 60% melee damage increase. And before you ask, yes, charge melee shotgun kills activate all of this. And don't forget, we also have the skill tree perk Rallying Force, which restores 10 HP to health, 20 HP to shields, and begins health regeneration for you and nearby allies when getting melee kills. I don't mean charge melee kills, just melee kills. Let that sink in for a minute. This synergizes with all shotguns, including Tractor Cannon, Legend of Acrius, and Chaperone or Duality. You will be the sexiest, most punchiest, crayon-eating titan in all the galaxy, out there doing what titans do best, carrying your team. I'm probably going to catch some crap for that one, but it was worth it. Seriously though, these are game changing when it comes to survivability in both PvP and endgame PvE content. I highly recommend you get them as soon as you can because the build diversity is through the roof on these. If you're having a hard time with one of the Lost Sectors, there are tons of videos out there to walk you through them. Even I have a few, but unfortunately, they're outdated now. I have a build coming out for them next week, but I wanted to make this video because I was so excited about getting them after doing the same Lost Sector a hundred times. I will also be covering the returning Warlock and Hunter exotics as well the moment I finally get them to drop. I got that terrible RNG if you haven't noticed. That's it. That's the whole video. I didn't want to drag this out. Now go out there and get to farming. And remember, just be a good person to one another. Thank you!